Today I have five moves for you to help strengthen your core and two bonus moves. So let's get started. Our first move today is going to be the Mason twist. So we're gonna get back here in a C-sit position. Your heels are gonna be in the ground, toes pointed straight up. You're leaning back into a C-curve position. Scoop your abs, tuck your belly button into your spine, and we're twisting. Every time your elbow comes back behind you, and you're breathing. You're gonna do as many as you can of those in 60 seconds. And then we're gonna do a little cardio interval. So we're gonna hop up after your 60 seconds, and we're gonna sprint it out. I want you to go as fast as you can. Pump your arms, get your legs going, bring your core in, hold it tight. There's no reason why you shouldn't focus on your core with every move you're doing. 60 seconds sprint. We're coming back down to the ground. We're moving a little fast today, so hope you can keep up. Fight for scissor. This one, we're coming back, laying on the back. One leg down, one leg up. You wanna focus on keeping your leg straight on this move. We don't want any bent legs on this one. And you're gonna bring opposite hand to opposite, opposite. Head, neck, and shoulders are off the ground. <sighs> Breathing with every move. <sighs> Exhale, <sighs> do the best you can. If you can't get all the way up there, it's okay. Some of you may just be here. It's okay, do the best you can. It's all right. Our next move, we're hopping back up and this one's gonna get a little crazy. <coughs> we're doing tuck jumps. I don't know if any of you have ever done Insanity with Sean T. This is one of his moves, one of my favorites. I want you to take these at your own pace, do what you can do, and I'll show you modification. So tuck jumps. We're gonna power from the bottom and bring your knees up. Suck in that core while you're bringing them up. Here we go. Try and do a burst of five. Modifications to that. Not everybody wants to jump. It's okay, you don't have to. But we're gonna have to put some effort behind this modification. You're gonna come down and bring it up. Squeeze your core on every motion. None of this, we don't want lazy. That's not doing your fav any favors right here. We've got a short period of time to work the score. We're gonna make it count. Here we go. Power from the bottom. 60 seconds, people. You've got this, you can do this. Coming back down to the floor. This time, we're doing hip ups. So we're gonna be here. We're working our shoulders here, core, glutes. You thought you were just gonna be working your core, didn't you? Here we go, this is our last move until the bonus moves. Feet straight up, and all you're gonna do is lift and lower. Lift and lower. More advanced move, don't put your booty on the floor. Up and hover, up, hover, up, hover. I want you to do sets of 12. Do 12 of those. Take a little 10 second, 15 second break and do 12 more. Repeat it three times. All right, here comes our bonus move. Not everybody has one of these, so it's okay if you don't. You guys are all done for the day if you don't. So here we go. Knees are shoulder width apart and we are just doing a ball roll out. This is really gonna challenge your core. So here we go. You're gonna roll the ball out and then bring it back in. And roll the ball out and bring it back in. When you reach the point where you feel like you're getting ready to arch your back, like I just did, you've gone too far. You wanna get out just to the point where you feel like you're in plank and everything's engaged and then bring it back. 10 of those, do the best you can. And then we're gonna reverse it. And this is where it gets a little tricky. 
So we're gonna get down. And hopefully the ball's not gonna roll away from me. We're gonna get up on all fours. And this is a little bit of an advanced move, so if you're not comfortable, don't do it. And roll them out, roll them in. Wow. And you might fall off just like that, see? I am not an expert. I'm real just like you. In, out, in, out, out, in, out. All right. So there you go. There's your moves for today. If you have a stability ball and you have a desk job or anytime you sit down on the computer at home, sit on a stability ball. Forces you into the correct posture, engages your core muscles too. These aren't very expensive, so if you wanna go out and buy one, go for it. You can do all kinds of exercise moves with them. Great tools. I'll show you some more on another time. But this isn't a stability ball workout, it's a core workout. I hope you have a great day. I hope you've learned something today. And I hope I've added value to you. Be well today. Have a great one.